Okay, so next uh, we're gonna cut the <coughs> genuine leather, the uh, metallic genuine leather from uh, Cricut. So let's go make it. And I'm just gonna leave it at the corner there because the, the leather look like they is smooth so it should stick quite well to the mat so I don't have to do uh, anything extra like adding tape or anything so I'm gonna go continue Material look for letter and I'm gonna pick metallic letter and it's gonna cut with the D point blade. Okay, so let's go to the next view. Okay, the uh, metallic uh, genuine letter from Cricut looks quite thick. That's almost two uh, millimeter. This is the. There's a preset already that <laughs> cut over it four times using the D point blade. You should definitely get the brayer if you have an already. It's quite useful. Now let's go to the machine view. So I already have the uh, deep point blade in here. So I, unlike earlier where I forgot to switch out the blade. This is also my first time cutting genuine leather. So it cuts quite well, it doesn't get lifted like the uh, full leather, the uh, flexible full leather. Second pass. the video running to see if it runs into any problem so you can probably fast forward a little bit to skip the cuts oh 
our ladder clay to see how many they cut from start to finish. Notice the uh, just scratches here. That's from the wheel, the white ring here. If you don't want that, you can just push the ring to the side. But I don't think it should be a problem because this is the back side. And you can probably just smooth it out like that. So help keep uh, the material <coughs> stick to the mat. This should be the third pass now. nothing get lifted up so this is even though it takes longer to cut but there is less likely to have any problem because the material staying in contact with the mat it doesn't get lifted should be fine to pass Well, this is the uh, genuine metallic uh, leather from Cricut. Expensive, but I think it's worth it. Even the uh, intricate cut, that's tiny circle there, it cuts, it's actually cut through correctly. That's a tiny hole there, over here. So that means that the uh, breakpoint that I created is not needed for this specific material since it actually cut quite well. And that's it. 
Okay, so this is the result of all the cuts out. This is the uh, Cricut brand. It's super thin. So this is the my least uh, favorite one, I guess. It has its uses, probably some other different designs that calls for a uh, super thin four letter. This one is the slightly thicker one. It's not bad, but it's uh, the feel of it. It's uh, softer than the Cricut ones. And then this is the uh, the one that is super difficult to uh, cut. The one where I had to pause multiple times just to uh, press it back onto the mat. It is soft and stretchy. So look how stretchy this thing is. I like this because the it feels soft on the uh, the, the back side. So when you wear it, it will not irritate your skin. This is the uh, genuine leather, the metallic uh, leather from uh, Cricut. It comes out looking the best out of all of them. So if you really like the uh, real uh, genuine leather, then this is your best choice and also the most expensive one. So these are my two preferred ones. This one is for the looks and the feel, the real leather. This one is soft, so it's easy on your skin. And you wear it and it won't irritate your skin. And these two are the cheaper ones and they are good for practice, I guess, until you get comfortable and go on to the uh, more expensive, real genuine leather here. Yeah. Again, if you're cutting for the first time or you're still new to this, uh, I would definitely suggest that you go with the Cricut brand because they all have their preset so that you don't have to worry whether you're gonna be able to get your own settings or not and it's easy to deal with and once you get comfortable with that you may want to go and experiment with custom design that way you can cut materials that uh, not just uh, Cricut brand, especially this one. Cricut don't sell them. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. So you have to experiment and figure out how to cut it. Uh, for this, I will probably make another video on uh, how to uh, test material and from start to finish in more detail on how to get your custom settings correctly and this video is way too long already so that will be for another one that's it